the shrinking cap, Grandpa. Catch me if you can. Grandpa is that he's always fun. We play lots of games. Three. Oh, you won again! <laughs> I certainly did. Captain. We read Captain Dumble twit stories. out of the side of the spaceship. <laughs> we share our ice cream. <laughs> we suck up our spaghetti. And Grandpa <laughs> is always like this. Well, not quite always. Because today, he was like this. Mum, Dad and my sister Jemima were away at a bike fair. And we were being looked after by Great Aunt Loretta, Grandpa's sister. Which meant we had to eat her weird meals and drink her green gloop. Pardon me to be so rude. It was not me, it was my food. Oh, I see. So you're going to waste my sausage with sardine sauce and marmalade mash, are you? Nope. Beowulf will eat it. I didn't cook it for Beowulf. Smelly, scraggy little mutt. There's nothing but bother, that dog. Beowulf the bothersome. Little did we know that today, Beowulf the bothersome was going to turn into... Beowulf the Brilliant! Come on, let's get out of here. If I could get about more easily, I'd go and hide in the bike shop to get away from her. Oh. Mum and Dad run the bike shop in our town. It's called the Sunny Sands Lend It, Mend It and Vend It shop. Because they lend, mend and sell bikes. Mr. Like a Biker was looking after the shop while they were away. Now, Mr. Like a Biker is called Mr. Like a Biker because he says, Ooh, I like a bike with silver trim. Ooh, I like a bell with a tuneful tinkle. Ooh, I like a helmet with sparkly stars on it. Mr. Like a Biker likes the gear more than he likes cycling. Mm. So there's nothing that he enjoys more than looking after the bike shop. At least I can have some fun with Mr. Liker Biker. You can have some fun with me. Come on, out of that chair. We are going to do some exercises. What? You are so lazy. Oh, wow. oh, look at this dreadful old thing. You never wear it. I'm going to take it to the charity shop. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. You give that to me. Thank you, Wolfie. Oh, I've had enough. He could have had my hand off then. That's it. He stays in the kitchen. Any more bother from you, and I'm taking you to the dog zone. The dog zone? Don't you worry, Jason. I've had enough of this. I'll tell you what. I'm going to make her love Wolfie by using this. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa. Catch me if you can. <gasps> Grandpa! Grandpa, get down! Come back! Uh, stop this messy car, Jason! Great Aunt Loretta thinks my car runs on batteries and that I'm the one who sets it off, when actually it's Grandpa's magic that makes it go. The car was empty. I had no idea where Grandpa was or what he was planning. 
Oh, Grandpa's gone for a bit of a lie down, has he? Anything to get out of doing his exercises. Oh, it's that dog again. He's up to something. I thought it was likely to be Grandpa who was up to something. Grandpa, why did you spell the green gloop? So that Wolfie would lick it up and Loretta would love him. But she was absolutely not going to love Wolfie. Oh, that dog's been on the table after my gloop. Shoo! Grandpa's first plan hadn't worked. Beowulf was in big trouble. In fact, we were all in big trouble. Oh, fetch the frozen peas, Jason. Great Aunt Loretta is always hurting her toe. And we have a pack of peas in the freezer that we always put on it. Let Wolfie take them into her. Then she'll love him. But Grandpa! Go on! Go, Wolfie, go! The bag had split, and there were peas all over the floor. Oh, this is the limit! Grandpa needed another plan, and fast. He ran in from the kitchen and hid behind the sofa, just as Great Aunt Loretta switched on the vacuum cleaner. You're a very bad dog, do you hear? When I've dealt with these peas, I'll deal with you. Now I was really worried. There was no escape for Grandpa. No! Oh, now something's got stuck in it. Yes, something was definitely stuck in it. And that something was Grandpa. Right, the vacuum cleaner is broken, and it's all Beowulf's fault. I am taking him to the dog's home. The great No buts! I am taking him to the dog's home just as soon as I have been to the... Great Aunt Loretta won't say the word toilet out loud because she thinks it's rude. Your plan hasn't worked, Grandpa. Oh, we'll think of something. <laughs> The door's stuck! Help! Help! It's jammed! Don't panic, Great Aunt Loretta! I am panicking! I'm going to climb out the window. I'll be out in a minute. Up she goes. Out I go. So the bad news was that Great Aunt Loretta was stuck in the toilet window. The worst news was that Grandpa was stuck in the vacuum cleaner. But I had an idea for getting him out. If your mum and dad own a bike shop, there's always a bicycle pump around. So I pumped away down the tube and suddenly... <gasps> Grandpa was free! But what were we going to do about Great Aunt Loretta? Sure enough, Grandpa had an idea. Wolfie, go and get help. Go and fetch Mr. Like a Biker. <coughs> so Beowulf ran all the way to the bike shop. <coughs> and he barked and barked at Mr. Like a Biker. <coughs> Until at last, Mr. Like a Biker said, Oh, you want me to come? Oh, right. Hang on. So Mr. Like a Biker set off at breakneck speed with Beowulf on the bike. Like a biker's here! <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, I do like a damsel in distress. Miss Like a Biker got the window up and rescued Great Aunt Loretta. 
to thank it's Beowulf he's the one who came to find me he's a brilliant dog oh he is he is he is Beowulf the brilliant take your cap off quick grandpa grandpa soon whipped off his shrinking cap and came back to his normal size did we do it Jason did we get great aunt Loretta to love Wilfie we did. <laughs> Teamwork, eh? Teamwork! <laughs> <laughs> But sorry about all the mess. <laughs> oh, what's a bit of mess between friends, eh? <laughs> oh, he's such a lovely boy. What's that you've got on your shoulder, Grandpa? Hmm? Oh, it's only a bit of fluff. Bit of fluff, eh? <laughs> Where have you been? In the vacuum cleaner? <laughs> 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 